Good morning, this is Todd the MVT Woodworker. I wanted to do a quick product review. Uh, today, we've been really busy, but I'm taking a few minutes out of the day before it gets too hot and too miserable down here. July is here in full force. You'd think it was August, as hot as it is. Um, it's been hard on my uh, uh, residual limb. Like other amputees, I know I've been having trouble with the heat. The humidity is really bad, you know, sweat's bad, but anyway enough of all that I'm doing a product review on a dust collector uh, I've in the last year I've I was always the gung-ho just let the dust fly type guy but over the past year I've I'm liking a cleaner shop and uh, less dust and things like that so I bought a bunch I would find a bunch of uh, shop backs on like um, Craigslist or something like that you know bargain deals you can pick up a good, decent, cheap shop back for 15 bucks. And I had one on my planer, which, there's, there's my planer, it's a 20 inch Grizzly there. And it worked okay for a while, but it just, it had a, it was just not enough. And so, I didn't want a big giant unit, because I didn't want to run all the piping and plumbing and things like that, so. What I did was, I was looking at Harbor Freight's little deal they had. Then I heard, I saw Win, W-E-N. And um, their little unit works pretty darn good. And there it is there. It's a 13 gallon um, dust collector. It's like 110 bucks on Amazon. I made this drum right here. And it's just a... Uh, put a deal in there make sure it kind of shoots it to the side that way it gives it that spiral rotation deal that way it keeps the pieces falling to the bottom and this has a lock ring but you don't need it you know it just and with the suction of the unit it will it just it, it's tight you can't get it off and um, tell you what it uh, I've changed this a lot because I run a lot of big stuff through there you know like boards like that you know there's a counter things like that so it fills up quick but you know what it, it used to pile up on the ground here and it'd be like a mountain so if you want a simple solution to your dust collection problems you don't need to spend a lot of money doesn't need to spend a lot of time this barrel here a friend gave to me but a locking plastic food grade barrel you can get I like the food grade barrels because they're usually when you buy them they're decent so you don't have to spend a, a day and a half cleaning it out but with that the barrel you can get usually anywhere between 10 and 20 dollars online uh, in your local area and some plumbing pieces from Grizzly and uh, the hose the hose was the most expensive part the, that from Grizzly that that four inch flux hose, clear, that's 20 bucks, you know, but for under $150, you can build you a nice dust collection system and you can, it's versatile, so. And I had made a dust collection station for all my deals and check this out. It's a remote, you can buy it at like a hardware store and you can run three units. I think it was like $28, and there's that, and then I got one for my jointer, and I got one for my miter station. I keep this in my pocket when I'm doing a lot of stuff. I tell you what, I used to, I guess, uh, make fun of people with the remote. Why do you need a remote for that? Well, I'll tell you what, it comes in real handy. And when you're having walking and movability issues anyway, it helps. It, it, anything that can save a step. So I highly recommend if you want a decent little unit, get you a win. W-E-N. Got it. I ordered it. And it took about four days to get here. Like I said, it's like 110 bucks. Um... It's a good unit. 
The only issue I had with it, they had a little, like, great deal to help protect the impellers. And that was just plugging up too much with my shaving. So instead of just breaking it out like a lot of people would, take take five minutes, take the three bolts out on on this on this housing right here, undo that. And that little great thing there will come off. You bolt it back on. That way, if you ever want to use it, you can just unbolt it and put it on. And there you go. So, thank you. Have a good day. More videos to come. We're super busy down here at the Furniture Lodge. And uh, we'll send you some more videos coming soon. Thanks, and God bless you all. Stay 